Arcane Studios, the developers behind some pretty critical successes such as Dishonored, Deathloop, and Prey, have come out with a new game in Redfall, and it is fine. It's it's an okay game. It's nothing groundbreaking, though you would think it would be something amazing considering it's coming from Arcane and how long it's had to develop. So, Arcane is a pretty good track record as of recent at least. Pretty much any one of their releases have been pretty positive in terms of reception, but Redfall is definitely the outlier in this scenario with a lot of people dogging on it for either the repetitive gameplay, how the game looks, how the game runs, things of that nature. So I'm going to give a few of my opinions on Redfall here and why I think it's just an okay game. So Redfall is just an open world zombie hunting type game. You get to select one of four characters, each with unique different abilities. So uh, you have one that can throw a C4 or a distraction drone, one guy that can teleport, throw a javelin, things like that. So each character is unique in some sort of aspect in terms of what their abilities are. There's a skill tree involved as well, so there is leveling and there is tiered loot. So you're going to find better weapons as you progress through the game and level up. And honestly, in my couple hours of playing Redfall, I don't hate it but it's also not the greatest experience ever. So I very much tapered my expectations for this game, seeing the pre-release footage and the announcement that the game's going to be locked at 30 FPS upon launch. I pretty much knew that this game wasn't going to be the greatest experience ever. However, I still wanted to enjoy it. I didn't want to hate this game, but I also tapered exactly what I thought it was going to be like. I knew it wasn't going to be the most impressive thing I've ever played. And like I said, I'm playing for a couple hours here, I am enjoying my time so far, however I can clearly see that like a lot of games releasing in the past couple years, it could have used some more time in the oven. The fact that a next generation, or technically the current generation of consoles in like the Series X and S, isn't able to output 60 FPS is just absurd. 30 FPS is something we had in the Xbox 360 era, like that was commonplace then. You would think after the Xbox One, the PS4, now PS5, and Series X consoles, that we would be able to output 60 FPS at a bare minimum. The fact that this game is locked at 30 is just absurd. It's had a lot of time in the oven, it's not released for the Xbox One consoles, why is it still locked at 30? There will be an update eventually to get it at the 60 FPS, the performance update, but why is that not something that we launched with? I know the game has already been delayed time and time again, so Microsoft is probably saying, no, you got, you got to push this out now. You've had enough time, and I just don't know what's going on behind the scenes with this game, but that's, that's besides the point. The 30 FPS is very noticeable, especially because I've been playing a lot of Overwatch recently, so the 60 FPS, you know, it's smooth enough. I mean, most people are content with 60, 60 is smooth, 60 is fine. Playing Overwatch and then going to Redfall and then going back to Overwatch, it is so noticeable the difference in the frames. Of course, eventually, the longer you play a game at 30, you're going to grow accustomed to it. It's not going to be the worst thing in the world. It's not unplayable at 30 FPS, but it is something to know. 60 FPS definitely would have made the experience clearly smoother and it would have just made it a little bit more enjoyable in my opinion. 30 FPS is something I can get used to, but it's not the preferred option. But that's all we're stuck with right now, so so that's something to take into account. Starting off in the game, you're blessed with a, a cutscene where you kind of see the main antagonist and you get to kind of explore this world going down a relatively linear path up until you get to the main home base in the fire department and then you're kind of given relatively free reign as to the open world here you can do different side missions you can do different story missions and just explore the world and figure out what you want to do and how you want to go about it in terms of the gameplay in and of itself it's not the worst thing in the world i maybe got to tweak with my settings a little bit because the shooting and some of the sensitivity things are a bit off to me uh, but again, something you would get used to eventually after playing a little bit. I'm just going to chalk it up to it's a new game. I haven't exactly learned the settings I like in it. Um, but the shooting definitely is weird. And I think Arcane usually doesn't have the best shooting in the world to begin with in their games. A lot of the melee in their games is very good. But the shooting isn't like on the levels of COD in terms of the detail and how it feels. But playing the game, I, again, was enjoying it for that first couple hours that I played. I was also playing with a full stack. There was me and three of my friends in the lobby, so us being able to shoot the shit and have the banter back and forth was a ton of fun as well. I haven't played the game solo yet, so I don't know how it would fare in that aspect. Though I assume the gameplay is going to be similar, just you don't have people to revive you and whatnot. 
Like I said, there is tiered loot in this game, so you're going to start off with pretty much gray weapons, common weapons, and eventually you're going to be able to get better weapons as the game progresses. Honestly, right off the bat, I already got a gold gun, I got a couple blues and a purple, and it's, it's stuck in that same sort of thing as Borderlands, where as a low level, you're going to get these apparently super exotic or rare legendary weapons, uh, and they'll be better stat-wise, but they're not going to be something you're going to be able to carry with you for the rest of the game. They're labeled as golds and purples, but in reality, once you get towards the end of the game, it, it really isn't that. Um, that's kind of an issue I have with these types of games in general, the ones with the looter shooters. I honestly am not a huge fan of just having to constantly utilize different weapons. Uh, again, that's my own personal preference. Some people might love that, that they're constantly being able to pick something new up. And I don't mind utilizing different weapons, but when it's like, I clearly want to use an assault rifle, but the pistol I grabbed is statistically better in almost every regard aside from its fire rate, I'm more inclined to use the pistol because it's going to do better damage-wise and DPS-wise as opposed to the assault rifle, though I would prefer to use an assault rifle. Again, that's just my sort of gripe with these types of games, these looter shooters. That's my main issue with them, but again, it's something I will be able to overlook and relatively, I'm okay with it. There is a variety of different weapons. You got your pistols, shotguns, assault rifles, snipers, and then there's weapons specifically tailored to killing the vampires. Uh, speaking of the vampires, they are relatively common in the game, but you are also going to be fighting some cultists, which are actual human enemies with guns, uh, which I actually am perfectly okay with. Um, I think if you were only fighting vampires in this game it probably would get stale pretty quick especially if you don't have a giant variety like 20 different variations of vampires that would probably get very boring very quick especially depending on the abilities the vampires have but i don't mind shooting regular old human enemies but there definitely has been some instances where the ai glitches out or it's just straight up wonky uh there's some some minor gameplay things like that where clearly again you can see that this game could have for sure use some more time in the oven there overall redfall is a very okay experience i don't think it's something you should pay 70 dollars for i'm a game pass subscriber so in my brain i got this game for free i'm enjoying it for what it is at the moment but the launch is just so botched and honestly the writing on the wall was there most people knew that something like this was going to happen seeing the pre-release footage and everything of the game the announcement that it's going to be locked at 30 fps upon launch People knew what this game was essentially going to turn out to be launching in that type of state. And it's very it's very just sad to see. Xbox and Microsoft haven't had the best of times with their first party releases as of recent. I mean, Halo is pretty botched, lacking a lot of content. We don't even have Forza yet. We haven't gotten any word as to Starfield in terms of, you know, anything new. We've gotten what we got. They're basically, basically Microsoft is banking on Starfield here to be like the console seller. Redfall is not a console seller. It is a fun game from the little I have played of it. I do enjoy Redfall. I don't know if it has staying power there. Maybe in the future, as more content is there and there's more things to do and more to work for, it's a game that can potentially stay around a little bit longer. As it stands out right now, I think it's a fun, mindless game. I, I honestly not too involved into the story. I will watch the cutscenes, I'll read some things, but it also falls into that aspect where a lot of the arcane games have a, a lot of story notes where you can just find notes all around the world. I honestly never read those. I'll try to read the first two and then I just get bored because there's so many of them. So as someone who isn't super involved in the story of this game, I could say it's fine for what it is so far. Maybe it will pick up as I get closer towards the end of the game. And if it warrants an updated video as to I, maybe I was wrong about Redfall or I actually think this is a very good game, I'll make a new video and I will rectify anything I've said in this one. As it stands right now, Redfall is a fine game. It is one of the games of all time. It is not the worst game I've ever played. It is not mechanically awful. But there is just so many things that this game could have done much better, which hopefully can be ironed out in patches, which I hate to say that that's the state of gaming right now. A game can launch with hardly any content, so many bugs, so many issues, and the hope is that eventually it will be good. It really is just sad to see. I, I really wanted Redfall to be good, but I tapered my expectations, and I pretty much got what I was expecting. It's a fine game, nothing to write home about. If you're a Game Pass subscriber... Sure, check this game out. If you're wanting to buy this game, don't buy it for full price. Either A, 
it might be worth full price later on in the future once all these kinks are ironed out and there's more content in the game or just wait for a sale. As a Game Pass member, it's worth a shot. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's not super offensive, but it's also not going to be the greatest experience that you've ever played where you're going to be like, everybody needs to play this game. I don't know. How are you guys feeling about Redfall? I'm, like I said, enjoying my time so far, but I, I just don't know what kind of staying power this game has. I really wanted to like it. Like, I really wanted this to be, like, the game that I'm going to play the rest of the year, at least. I don't see it as being that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you guys for sticking around, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio, mates.